A lot of news in America tonight. Here's some breaking politics news. You're looking at live pictures out of New Hampshire, where Governor Chris Christie, who served in New Jersey, is now formally announcing his presidential bid. So what you're looking at is what's happening right now. And if you're thinking, gosh, we went from like a Trump primary to a big Republican primary, you're right. Christie joins a field that's gotten crowded quickly. If you do an all-inclusive count, you have nine, and even if you only count elected officials, which is one way we look at people's experience, you still have about six-plus people running for office along with the former president. Then, in another period of Republican political maneuvers, you have indicted Congressman George Santos. I mentioned him earlier. He just got another setback, a judge ruling that she will unseal, publicize the names of the people who paid his hefty half-a-million-dollar bond. Those identities have been a mystery in this saga. The lawmaker refused to say who paid the money that kept him out of jail after that 13-count indictment. That is information you'll never get because that is the media's... Your, your intention is to go harass them and make their life miserable. You're not getting that. Uh, spoken like someone who doesn't have a firm grasp on the process. He said never. The judge said yes. And unless it's overruled, here we go. Now, a lawyer says Sandoz would rather surrender to detainment than reveal those names. So we'll see where the claims and bluster go. With all due respect, Mr. Santos has said many things that were not ultimately true. Now, he is continuing his work around Capitol Hill. And on a lighter note, the comedian Matt Friend, who we've had on, found out about what it looks like when you catch Santos out on his way to work. This was before the indictment. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing, George? Are you videoing this? Stop by. Oh, George, you're a nasty guy. George, we love you a lot. And George, you're doing great work for the country. George, are you videoing this? Where is he going, George? We love George Santos. We're by my office, Alex. It's a George, we love the question. It's just Donald Trump. It's a good question. I have a lot of impressions. Who are you doing an impression of right now? That's the question. We love the Jews, right, George? Where was your bar mitzvah? We love George's bar mitzvah. He's a great guy. As Matt Friend likes to say, we love that. Now, on the legal front, Santos does have until Friday to file an appeal to judge's ruling, and it could ultimately have a, a future reversal. But if it stands, we will be learning just who wants to put so much money up to curry favor with that indicted congressman. Now, when we come back, criminal 